Mark Dan Hollywood to live. Welcome, Max. Thank you. Max, I have the fantastic Mind Wave on and doing an interview right here. I've got, let's go back to our panel, which should be on. Come on, hun. No, that's the other one. This one. Yes! Brainwave visualizer. Let's go to this dynamic. This is a shot of my brain. And I like, I did a lecture in Prague uh, a couple months ago. I put this thing on an audience member. So while I was lecturing, hopefully very exciting, people, people were like, you know, and the brain waves are coming out. It's kind of interesting. I've got about four of these. I'm going to bring them in. I want ideas from you guys. So like, what are we going to do? Big word, mash up. We're going to study a little bit about architecture, urbanism, and all of that. But basically, you come to me with mash-up ideas and so forth. Question. You are seeing delta sleep state. These are all the states coming off of me in about four ways. Because I cannot go beneath the skull, we have um, only the only ability to w read waves. But with these waves, and with this mind wave, which is like a Model T, it's like a Model T car, just starts up goes, right? I had a more expensive thing, and it was too much information, man. It's just you're emitting too many electronic impulses to, to you know, think about clicking something like a finger. So to me, this, is, this creates a potentiometer, a scale of things. This is rendered in terms of, the, the colors are in terms of mood, like the, um, the interpolation. So the yellow is more attentive, the blue is moody. Let's go to another interface before we put it on max. This is one I like. Tension. You shouldn't and you do you shouldn't. You absolutely shouldn't do such and I'm delivering it to the face, right? I gotta deliver the electronic impulses to the face in order to drive this thing. This barrel will explode if I get too much attention and pull it in and ultimately I'm going to give it to Mac and put this on him. I'm going to try consistently, see that bar level on the bottom? We're going to try consistently to get that up. With this, we can move movies, we can move music, we can start a car in the morning, we can do anything with this. Is it pulling? And as soon as I get this up there, this barrel will probably explode and make these big noises, but i got to keep this up there, and i got to have the face there. It goes, it's exploding. It's burning. Exploding. Thank you. Thank you. Let me turn off my. Let me turn off my uh, Pandora. There it is. We had sound effects. That's burning. Now, in the course, hi. We're still on iMovie. Here I am. Attention. It should be burning even more. It being more, even more, even more. I'm in the beta range. With this, we can augment sound. We can augment other stuff. You know, if you're a musician, we could think of it. You play strings or, or piano. Well, cool. Piano's good, though. Piano's we can good. think about modulating a bass underneath. I will get to the keyboard to, to deal with this here soon and move that. Let's get ready to put this on Mac. Everyone here? Cool. Here goes. Now, what we have to do, Max, is this goes to your ear. And this little plate has to fit completely on your forehead to get the charge going. And it creates a circuit between and interpolates and reads these four or five things. Now, what I'm going to have to do with Max is calm. Right now, I'm excited talking to you guys. But the more calm we are, the more this thing will rise up. And some guy did a, a performance piece this summer. We strapped someone into like a winch. And they went up 60 feet using a type of mind, more expensive than this, a type of mind wave. More, it rose them up, the more calm they got. They looked up, you know, and they fell back down. So it was kind of an interesting piece, but he got, oh, I'm elevating. He got more, he loosened the muscles in the face, loosened that up, let's get calm. Get ready, Max. You see this blue dongle here, Max? It, oh, I'm going. I like that sound. Let's hear that sound again. I won't even look at it. Put it on a student this morning. Immediately, the thing shot up. I don't know what that was about. 
who's just sleeping or something. Here goes. We're going one, two, and you put put this on your forehead this side. One, two, three, go. Quickly, 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 Lost to hair, quickly, strap it to your ear, clip to your ear. It was blue, we still stayed blue, but see, it cut. The impulse is the, the way it's cut. So I usually go back. Oh, you're on, man. You're on. But sometimes it doesn't do this, like, trade off between people that well. Sometimes they'll completely unboot. we got to boot up the dongle or this or whatever. Yeah, Max. He's calm. But look at the little lines around this. This is so commercially, and it has all these applications. See, I'm talking to people, I'm focusing on them. This has all these applications for arts and culture. I teach art and technology. We thought of using this for, um, there's some pain management programs with this, so people don't keep taking drugs for pain and so forth. Wow. And uh, head and spinal injuries, it's a way of mirroring yourself back to yourself to get this, to get this um, complete um, thing going. Let's take Max to pretty calm, man. Let's see if he can switch it on and off. Let's go to burn. He's <laughs> on fire, man. <laughs> there we go. It's the face. It's on fire. <laughs> you did it. Let's give him a hand. So Max went from calmness to a state of, of um, excitement. What can we do with this? No, there is no, I don't know. This is Harvard. This is not SB. This is Harvard. What do you know about this so far? What can we do with it? 